Hello my friends, today's video I'll be sharing with you guys my top 3 favourite lip combos that I've been wearing out very recently. I feel that lip colour is like a thing for me. I love experimenting with different formulas and just playing around with different lip tints, lipsticks. And yeah, as you can see, I'm currently only wearing a gloss. I'm wearing this gloss, the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Moon. I mean, the shine. Very pretty. But with no base colour to it, I look a little bit lifeless at the moment. So, I have a mix of warm tone and cool tone lip colours and lip combos to show you guys. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The first lip combo that I've been really digging into is this deeper, cool tone, rosy lip colour. Very pretty. And I have two lipsticks. The first one is the Rom and Zero Matte Lipstick here in number 22, Mauve Beans. And the Rimmel London Lipstick in chestnut rose. Now these two combined together, it was just, it was an experiment and it came together really really nicely. Both of these are matte lipsticks so you get a very like matte finish. We'll go in with the Rom N0 matte lipstick first. I would describe this colour as a mauve red. This colour, if I am not wrong, was part of like a nude collection of Rom N, so I think it's really fitting. It's not too pale either and I love the Zero Matte lipsticks because it does provide some decent colour coverage as well. The thing I love about the Zero Matte lipsticks is that it may be a matte finish but it's not super drying on your lips. I'll apply this lipstick all over my lips and what I like to do is actually smudge the cupid's bowl like just a little bit just to give a little bit of that diffused look. Next, I'll take the Rimmel London lipstick in Chestnut Rose and I'll kind of apply it on my inner lip. As you can see, these two lip colours are pretty close to each other tonally. So they actually provide maybe like a mid-tone lip look. They're not super pale, but they provide just enough definition and colour. So I actually do really like it. Roman Zero Matte Lipstick actually looks a little bit more mm, muted in a sense. And then there's like a little bit more vibrancy from the chestnut rose colour from the Rimmel lipsticks. It kind of balance each other out pretty nicely. Moving on to my second favourite lip combo. This is more of a traditional lip look, I would say. We've got the Sephora Nano Lip Liner in number 17 light brown and 3CE Water Blur Fudge Tint in Sepia. This duo over here leans more towards of a brighter, warm lip look. But it's not like bright, bright, screaming in your face. Not that kind of thing. It's more of the slightly more approachable warm tone colour combo with these two. I'll line my lips with this lip liner and what I'll do is really put in more definition and focus on the outer parts of my lips. I feel that is really where I'll give the contouring and give that 3D shape to my lips so it'll look more Healthy. I found that this particular shade of the lip liner actually came in clutch a lot of times because it's a light brown colour so it actually blends in pretty well with a lot of my other lipsticks when I want a little bit more definition to my lips. And I really focus on colouring this part of my lip over here, the outer parts, because I think that is really where the quote unquote gaps of my lip. Afterwards, I'll go in with the 3CE Water Blur Tint in Sepia. I would describe Sepia as actually a bright warm tone red but because of the nature of this water tint it actually dries down matte so when you first apply it yes it looks very watery but very quickly it was set into a matte finish and normally I don't like to mix lip liners and lip tints together because most of the time because of the consistency they don't really work well together but recently with like recent technology and all that I feel that this and lip liners they work really well. Plus this 3CE water blur tint, it's not super opaque even with one layer on so it's really meant for you to actually build up the colour coverage on this. You actually can go in with two or three layers, I think you're pretty much fine. I would normally go in with two layers but even as you can see, one layer alone by itself, it's pretty much okay. And because of that, it actually allows your natural lip colour to peek through. On top of that, the lip liner that we first applied so it will help to contour your lips. The next lip combo that we have over here are these two products. We have one from Dayzik. This is the Mood Blur Lip Pencil and this is the Raw Man Blasting Water Tint in Rose Splash. These two together gives you a combination of a cool tone 
pale light purple color more on the glassy watery finish so i've been really enjoying these two together i'm gonna go in with this on my entire lip now i wouldn't wear this product alone by itself because it's a little bit too too pale like it looks definitely sick on me like there's no way so definitely you will have to wear another product on top of this let me tell you lip pencil sticks are so popular right now it's everywhere like every single k beauty brand has released a lip pencil stick of some sort this one from Dasic, it has a little bit more of that velvety matte finish and unfortunately this does not dry down so it actually does kind of smudge like a little bit so if you're curious on my thoughts about that there you go, that's the TLDR but still, I wear this product a lot because when I pair this together with the Glasting Water Tint from ROM and the Rose Flash color it's like my dream lip color honestly I'll go in and really focus on the inner lip and I try not to get to the outer lip too too much you guys know that the Glasting Water Tint they don't really have a lot of base pigment to it so it really allows the misty lilac color of the basic wood blur pencil to really peek through and really helps to have that really strong purple base and really this is just so so pretty absolutely love this look so if you're looking at your lip and you're like oh there's this very weird like separation over here normally personally what i like to do is try and blend it to the outer lip as well you'll kind of lose the mm, gradient lip look of the misty lilac color the base color but I personally think that this still looks the best for me like a softer gradient lip look I think that this color combination actually works out the best for me you guys know that I really really love the Glasting Water Tint from ROM N and you know till today I still think that this is the best lip tint formula ROM N has done so far and of course if you want to you definitely can build up the color like a little bit so sometimes if I feel that oh this isn't enough I will again focus on my inner lip and this is probably like the deepest that you can get with this particular lip tint but still look at how glossy and wet this looks very very pretty and I absolutely love this so so much I think that this mauve purple colour is a little bit hard to do like this particular tone and colour in my humble opinion so Rose Splash definitely my pick if you're ever wondering so yeah Am I playing favoritism a little bit? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Which lip combo is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Or if you have your own lip combos, don't get keep, drop it down as well. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, help a girl out. And if you want to see my other videos, you can check out this video over here.